Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 60 in chapter 30. Chapter 30 is about inductance, electromagnetic oscillations, and uh, AC circuits. So there we have the RLC service connection circuit, right? The RLC is given, so this is three quantity. We write it there. And also the peak voltage for the source is given, and the frequency for the source is given. See, we have these uh, quantities. We need to determine a lot of other quantities, like the peak voltage, the peak, uh, uh, the phase angle, everything. See, there we can do some preparations. First one is we can get the uh, reactance and the capacitance, right? The inductance, see? Inductance, we can write it as 2 pi FL. Input F and L inside, you get it there. And similarly, we can get capacitance as 1 over 2 pi FC. And the next one, we can get is impedance. The impedance is the total difficulties the current goes through this R L R C circuit. So we can write it as there. So squared R squared plus this phase shift and squared. Phase shift can write as the inductance minus the capacitance. So now we get the preparation for the inductance, capacitance, and the impedance. See, first one determines the peak voltage. See, what we know is about peak voltage, and we need to determine peak current, see? So use the peak voltage divided by impedance, you get it there, right? The second one finds the phase angle. So we use the phase shift over the R, and then take an arc tangent to get the phase angle. And the phase shift, see, we get the inductance minus capacitance, right? See, and then we input is XL, XC, and R inside, get answer there. Next one, we need to determine the peak voltage across R and its phase angle. See, there, the phase voltage across R, so that means the peak voltage for R, so we use the peak current times R, right? So this R I note is found in part one, so we get it there. Now, the phase, phase angle relative to the source voltages. There, we can see, we look at the R. As we know, the R always have the phase, same phase shift with the current, right? So this phase angle is just the phase angle of the uh, of the current with the, the the phase angle of the current with the source voltages. So this one we get it there because the R will never bring the phase shift. It has the same phase with the current. So it is exa exactly the same as the uh, phase angle of uh, voltages with the current. The second one D determines the peak voltage across L and the phase angle, right? So L, that is easy. So peak voltage for L, so we use the peak current times the inductance, XL, so we get answer there. Next one is determine the phase angle relatively to source voltages. As we know, the inductance will lead the current by 90 degrees. So there, we use the 90 degree minus 5, so we get the phase angle for the L. Next one determines the peak voltage for C. So for the peak voltage for C, we use the peak current I0 times the capacitance XC, we get answer there. The next one is the phase angle relatively to source voltages of the C, right? As for C, we know it lags the current by 90 degrees, so we use a negative 90 degrees minus 5. Get the answer there. Thank you.